MJ, this is Tina from Utah Fertility Center. I'm just calling with your fertilization today. So um, the 17 eggs we got yesterday were all mature, so those were all uh, exceed um, with your husband's sperm, and those have fertilized. Um, to our families and friends, this is MJ again, and today is May 5th, 2021, and today is uh, day one post egg retrieval. So this is uh, the day that we usually get an update um, from the embryologist on how all the eggs are doing. So yesterday, I told all of you that they retrieved 17 eggs from me, and I was told by our doctor that they were all matured and good quality eggs. They told me that they fertilized all 17, and this morning, I received a call from them and told me that out of those 17 uh, that they fertilized, 16 of them survive in day one. And 16 of those have fertilized today. So that's really great news. Um, Sunday will be the next time that we give you an update and we'll call you and let you know how many of those formed blasts. So now it's kind of like the waiting time. We have day one which we receive an update on how many were fertilized and then there is a day five and we'll see how many of those made it to a blastocyst to be ready for biopsy, PGS testing, and freezing them. So over the next five days, we are aware that some of them won't make it to day five because just like inside of you, if there is something like genetically abnormal, the embryo will stop growing. So by Sunday, they will give us another call and update us with the progress report. We are hoping for a good numbers of blastocysts in day five. Post-procedure symptoms wise, I would say um, yesterday I've only had a very minimal cramping and I was a little bit bloated and I was just a little bit tired. Today, I woke up with severe um, cramping, uh, very bad uh, stomach pain um, to the point that I couldn't get out of bed like a normal person and um, also I had to move very slow. Um, I had to like support my belly while getting out of bed, um, walking or even just trying to sit down. Back to the numbers that were fertilized, um, I still can't believe how amazing it is and how seriously thankful I am and how great I feel hearing that amazing news. You know that feeling that even though you are in pain, even though I am in pain, I feel like I am in cloud nine. I know it is too early for me to, you know, celebrate, but I just can't help it. You know, knowing that we had 16 eggs retrieved and then 16 of them made it to um, day one, it's just amazing. Although I know that those numbers will decrease in the coming days, um, I still feel very um, hopeful and positive. I am very grateful, beyond words grateful, to our families and friends that prayed with and for us yesterday um, that we might get good numbers of fertilized eggs today. Last night, my anxiety kicked in because all these um, worries and fears started running through my head and I couldn't sleep. It was already 2.30 in the morning. I told Grant right away that I was very anxious and all these fears are running through my head about the numbers of eggs that we will get the next day, which was today. He was very good in taking away all my fears and my worries. So we prayed together and then I felt better. Um, I fell asleep. And then uh, this morning, uh, we woke up with an amazing news from our embryologist. I know it wasn't just because of the modern science and amazing technology that we have right now, but I know that it happened mainly because of the power of prayers. Um, Grant and I are very, very grateful for all of you who prayed for us. Thank you so much. Um, we are hoping for good numbers of blastocysts this Sunday. As soon as we get the numbers of blastocysts, uh, we'll have them get biopsied and 
um, get tested for any genetic abnormalities and then we'll freeze them and after that we will start the transfer process so that's all for now uh, we will continue to update you um, this coming sunday we'll tell you how many made it to blastocyst and um, what else um, again thank you so much for all of you who prayed for us i can say that uh, today is one of the proof that life is still full of possibilities